Take a deep breath. Every day you take 23,000 breaths, whether you think about it or not. So what's up with all those darn breaths? Okay, okay, okay. Just like your heart beating, breathing is automatic. You don't have to think about it to remember to do it, which is great because it's absolutely critical to you staying alive. But why? Well, the real reason we breathe is because we need oxygen. The cells in our bodies are like mini factories that require energy, more specifically adenosine triphosphate or ATP to function. Just like a car needs gas or electricity, our cells need ATP to do their work. When you breathe in air, the oxygen in that air enters your lungs, where it's picked up by your red blood cells. Red blood cells are like Amazon delivery drivers. They grab the oxygen and pull it through your artery superhighway to all of your organs, tissues, and ultimately each of the trillions of cells in your body. Once a cell gets its much needed oxygen delivery, it can't get on with its energy production. Our cellular factories use this process called aerobic cellular respiration, where oxygen combines with nutrients from the food we eat to make carbon dioxide, water, and energy. And therein lies the secret sauce. Oxygen is Mr. Clutch in the energy production process that allows the cells in your body to do all the things they do to keep you functioning. Without oxygen, they cannot function for long. But our superhero oxygen isn't the only thing we're breathing in. The air we breathe is actually a mixture of a bunch of gas molecules, mostly nitrogen. Nitrogen makes up 78% of the air we breathe, and oxygen, the stuff we need to survive, makes up 21%. Other trace gases make up the remaining 1%. And in polluted areas, that air also contains small particles from smoke and other pollutants. Breathing in polluted air <coughs> is not good. Even if pollution doesn't get into all the cells in your body, tiny particles can easily get to your lungs where they can damage the lining. When your immune cells attack these invaders, the lungs get irritated, which can get in the way of other processes. It's like the Amazon delivery drivers are trying to pick up oxygen and drop off carbon dioxide, but most of the loading docks are blocked. Yeah, pollution isn't good for the environment, and it's equally bad for our lungs and bodies. So, pay attention to air pollution warnings and support clean air policies. And take one more deep breath as you remember that oxygen gives your cells the energy they need to keep you doing all the things that make you, you.